Good morning, John. You were recently making fun of my new hairstyle. Which is fine, because we're brothers and that's what brothers do. But coming right back at you, John, I gotta say, what? Is. This. What. Why. Come on, we've been doing this for eight years, do you have no sense of composition? You got a bunch of stuff on the wall over here, nicely placed and visually interesting without being distracting. And then, blah, nothing. Blank space, baby. Help us, John. Help free us from the scourge of the nothing. Our tax is dead and you need to name the childlike empress Bastion. Call my name! Are the new viewers gone yet? Some friends of mine, they have a YouTube channel where they play board games while being drunk. They play this improv game called That's Not My Name. You know the song that this is based on. They call me Hell. They call me Janet. They call me Stacy. They call me Earl. That, that song, I don't know what the actual names are. The idea of the game is you go around in a circle and you sing that song with the That's Not My Name. That's not my name in it, and then the next person has to do it, and they have to come up with different names to put in. It's really fun. So if ever you're bored, that's just a, it's a fun thing to do. Catherine and I do it all the time. They call me Brian. They call me Nargle. They call me Amber. They call me Jeff. That's not my name. None of those are my names. I used to think that butterflies were pretty much just caterpillars that had had some modifications made to them. But it turns out that caterpillars actually just sort of turn into this like liquid, soupy, organic goop inside of the cocoon and then reform entire into butterflies, and that's not even the weird part. The weird part is that caterpillars can be taught to fear smells, and then they turn into that goop, turn into butterflies, and the butterflies remain afraid of those smells. Office tour. 2015 is redlined. You guys work so hard. I know. Snacks. Caitlin. Hi. This is Cali Awesome Sauce. He needed to go in a different tank because he's a murderer. That was too long. Yeah. I'm gonna cut all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Crash Course Studio. This is my pile of shirts. I always need one of those. SciShow! Hi, everybody. No, no way we can see all of you oh. with that speed. There's too many of you. There are 40 Nick Cages in here? One there. You just have one? Yeah. Just, I, that's all I need, really. Glad you keep them close by, though. <laughs> that's creepy. Yeah, that's awful. Stupid Crash Course is up to stupid stairs now. Hi, Abby. Giving people a tour of our offices. The thank you video we need from you? No, no. <laughs> I should be doing that, though. Hi, Blake. I'm just showing everybody the office. Good job. They're so quiet. Why are you doing that? VidCon. Now, when we say get out, Poop Man, we don't mean you. Won't you do back? Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said shut up. I was recently thinking about Vladimir Putin and how he's probably not just ordered people to be killed, but actually physically killed people himself. And then I thought, you know, probably U.S. presidents have also killed people. So I looked it up and it turns out lots of U.S. presidents have killed people, but mostly in combat. There are only two U.S. presidents who definitely killed people outside of combat situations, and they are Andrew Jackson, who killed a guy in a duel, but only after that guy shot him in the chest, a bullet that would remain near his heart for the rest of his life, and Grover Cleveland, who as the sheriff of Erie County personally carried out two executions of murderers, even though he could have paid a deputy $10 a piece to do it for him. Grover Cleveland, very Ned Stark of you. They call me Bobby, they call me Quiet, they call me Nice Guy, they call me Fancy. That's not my name. John, I think my hair looks good. And get a new poster. I'll see you on Tuesday. Snapchat recipe. Gotta open the squash. Then you gotta scoop the goop out. That looks nice. Good on. And then you flip them. You flip them. Then you remember that you should have started preheating the oven when the first thing, then you did it like the eighth step instead. Then you gotta put these butters in the oven. Put them on the oven, don't burn yourself. And then be very quiet for about 45 minutes while they cook, or else they'll be shy about cooking. Thank you, butternut squash, for your life. And I'm going to consume your flesh.